If you're considering the Elite for your next build, or maybe you already have one, it's good to know where all the PCIe lanes go and how the slots connect. Knowing if lanes are shared between slots can help you choose which devices to use and where to put them. Let's break it down and take a look at the board. For the lane maps I'll be using, there's a downloadable PDF as well as images if you follow the link to the Discord. Also, I'm currently buying one of each physical board to do further testing and create lane guides. If you'd like to support this effort, I've included a link to the Patreon below. Starting with the CPU Direct, lanes and slots, the main M.2 has a quick release on the heatsink and thermal pads on each side. This slot supports up to four lanes at Gen 5 and works with lower generation drives. Once the drive's installed, the heatsink snaps back into place. The reinforced by 16 slot for the graphics card supports up to 16 lanes at Gen 5. Once the card's installed, there's a quick release button and when you press it, you can remove the card. This slot can run with all 16 lanes or it can share eight of its lanes and run two additional M.2 slots. Those slots are located under another heatsink with a quick release. This heatsink is quite a bit thinner than the one on the main M.2 and it's located right under the graphics card. Each of these M.2 slots supports up to four lanes at Gen 5. If one or both slots are used, they take eight lanes from the graphics card. These lanes will run directly to the CPU. This leaves four CPU direct lanes remaining, and these are the general purpose lanes. On the Elite, these four lanes run at Gen 4 to the USB 4 controller, connecting two Type-C ports on the back. These ports support up to 40 gigabits per second when used individually and share the available bandwidth when used at the same time. The chipset connects to the CPU with the four lane uplink at Gen 4. The X870E chipset further expands the connectivity of those four lanes up to 12 Gen 4 lanes and eight Gen 3 lanes. The first chipset chip connects to an M.2 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. This slot is located under the heatsink with the other two M.2 slots. Four lanes of Gen 4 go to a BI-16 slot. In this case, I've used an M.2 enclosure add-on card and connected another SSD. Four lanes of Gen 3 go to another BI-16 slot below. This slot could also be used for another M.2 enclosure, or in this case, I've used it for 10 gig LAN. 10 gig LAN only needs two Gen 3 lanes. The next two connections are 2.5 gig LAN and Wi-Fi 7. Usually these take one Gen 3 lane each. The chipset has an integrated SATA controller with four SATA ports. Usually SATA uses one lane per port at Gen 3. If you have any questions on the Elite, feel free to hop in the Discord and thanks for watching.